Hi, this is Brady. Thanks for watching uh, this Topoli tutorial. And I wanted to just take you through how you can build a heat map of uh, just counties to show market share by county. So if you have a spreadsheet with all the counties' names uh, in one column, in the next column you have the market share for each county. How do you build that into a heat map? Uh, as you can see, I've logged in here to, to Topoli, and I'm just going to go up and do New Map. Now what I need to do first, I'm going to show you my uh, spreadsheet. I uh, m made a column called name and then the address column, I, I just actually have the, the county name in there um, and I also concatenated the word county on the end. So um, this is obviously Allen County in the address field. I just did Allen and then put on the word county on the end so that you can see uh, all the different counties. I also have a column called state in here and then a column called market share and these are just uh, invented market shares um, just to, to protect anybody's data so um, anyway name address state and market share and I, I, I'm gonna turn this into a heat map on Topoli so uh, what I can do is go in and I create a new map and I'm gonna call this Kansas market share then what I need to do is uh, intuitively I would think I need to go to territory sets and and add the counties as a territory set but I'm actually gonna do something else first since I have this market share and it's associated um, on a spreadsheet I need to create a location uh, place mark in the middle of each county that has this market share embedded in the in the in the data so pretty much I need to put a, a an icon in the middle of every county on my map um, because that's what stores the market share then I can create a territory heat map off of this field and I'll show you how I do that so I'm gonna add a new location set and I'm gonna call it Kansas market share points um, go to my map select all of that data including the headers go back to Topoli and I'll paste that in and click continue. Now it's going to geocode each of those uh, locations in the middle of the county and I'm gonna go ahead and pause this until it's done so you don't have to waste your time watching it geocode. Okay it's just about done processing here and once it's completed uh, it'll add this as a location set in my list of locations. So you notice over here here's the Mar Kansas market share points uh, the location set I made and, and um, obviously I have other data sets in here as well but this is the one we're interested in. If I go ahead and click finish right now you'll see what it built for us. Um, here's Kansas and it, it built all the points and it looks like you can't tell but all each of these points I'm going to turn to the map view and let me make this icon a little darker. Um, each of these points is right in the middle of each county, okay? And if I click on the point, you notice that the, the market share is embedded in this data. Now that I have that data in here, I can create a territory boundary for it. So I click on my layers map, and I, I click over here that says add new territory set. I'm going to do this Kansas market share. Um, and the type of territories are US counties and I'm gonna go down to Kansas um, right there and click continue and then uh, it's gonna ask how I want to color each county in Kansas and uh, what I want to do is I would like to build this off of a heat map so I select the heat map option um, and it's asking what data set I would like to use to to build the heat map so what data set contains the information that it's gonna use for the heat map. Um, so if I if I select this and I go down to our Kansas market share points, this is the data set that I just barely added that we're looking at. And then it's going to ask what type of map it wants to build based off the location density. Um, now every county only has one location in it, so this location density isn't going to make much difference. What I would like to do is either the sum of market share or average of market share. And since each county only has one location in it, both of these are going to give me the exact same results. Um, so I'll do average of market share, select the gradient color or style we'd like to use. I'll just leave it on the default and click continue. And it will add the uh, territory set for me. And so there it's already selected for me. And when I click finish, 
it pulls up my map uh, with the territories heat mapped. And uh, now notice uh, you may not want to have uh, each of these points showing on the map, so you can either just hide them by unchecking that box on the side, or you can actually go back into the layers and remove them. So just um, unselect it from the from the location data set and finish. And now what we have is our data set full of um, each county with the market share. Now you, you may want to leave the location points on there and just hide them because then you can always click on it and see what the actual market share was that appears in the bubble. Whereas this we can just kind of see what the different market shares are. And again I, I made up this information so I'm not sure uh, what this would look like exactly with your data. Uh, I made up the market share information. Um, over here on the left you can make the, the, the counties more or less transparent. And you can also select the drop down and if you'd like to override or change the color of one you can obviously change it um, like that and it's not necessarily what we want to do here but um, just to show you uh, the, the options and that should um, give you a, an insight on how you can create territory heat maps um, for each county if you have like each county's market share hopefully this was helpful um, we'll see you soon enjoy